everyone, it's Mona here at Craft Clutch, and today I'm going to tell you a little bit about my vacation. I was gone on vacation for roughly two weeks. It was kind of a vacation, kind of not. And I didn't tell you guys about it because I worked really hard beforehand to make sure there was no um, missing any videos or anything. So I did a bunch of crafts beforehand, worked late, and, and did all that stuff beforehand just so we, I wouldn't miss a beat with stuff getting posted. So my husband and I went down to Florida for a couple of different reasons. The first thing that kind of started the process of us going at this time of year was because Playlist Live was down in Orlando. So that's what kind of started um, our planning to go down there. We have some very dear friends that are more like family down there where he has been sick for, for quite some time and we wanted to make sure that we were going to see him. So we end up leaving a little bit early because he was not doing well and luckily and we're very grateful that we were able to see him um, before he did pass away. So that was very, very bittersweet. We were happy to see him but very sad um, that that he passed away. So, so that was the other main reason that we wanted to get down there when we were getting down there. So we kind of switched stuff around to be able to make that happen. Of course, since it was February and always cold up in the Chicagoland area, we decided to extend it and turn it into a vacation so we could just get the heck out of the cold. So after we did that, we went over to the West Coast and spent about a week there. And we stayed on a little island that you can only get to with a ferry. And we just wanted to warm up, get a little sun, um, decompress a little bit, and just relax. The place we stayed in wasn't the nicest, but you know, kind of needed a little work. But we were like 150 feet away from like the beach, so you can't get better than that. I did find a bunch of things that you'll be seeing in crafts in the future. I'll get to that in a minute. We were also able to see my aunt down there and our friend Joe. And if you remember, Joe's the one who I gave that um, thumbtack flower to a couple years ago. So all that stuff was good, but then this also happened while we were on vacation. A lady ran on the red light and hit us. Um, our car is totaled, her car is totaled. Um, we were able to walk away, um, bumps and bruises. I still have some pain in my sternum. And like in the evenings, it, it tends to get worse. But we were so, so grateful because it could have gone a very different way. And the driver of the other car, she was alone in her car and she um, had to get extracted with the jaws of life but she had stitches, bumps, and bruises, and overall she's okay too. So, you know, crap happens, and we're just so happy that we're still both alive and happy, and the other lady's alive, and we're just grateful. I won't get into all of it, but once we were done at the accident scene, um, we didn't have any way to get home, because obviously our car was totaled and not drivable, so... The police had to take us to the hospital so that we could get checked out. And the nurse asked us how we were going to get home, and we said we had no idea. So a little shout out to Ken down at Englewood Community Hospital. Thank you. He got us a number for a cab and a water taxi trying to get us back on the island and stuff like that. And he really went above and beyond what we expected. He was very kind. It's a very funny feeling. You know, a lot of times you can call on family or somebody... We didn't, we couldn't call anybody or do anything. We were, we, we were kind of stranded and you're kind of dependent on the kindness of strangers. And luckily most people are really kind. So we went to Playlist Live, did that. And then we left a little bit early just because some things had changed. And we decided to stop at Graceland on the way home. We stayed at the Heartbreak Hotel and they had a heart shaped pool. We learned a lot of interesting things about Elvis. We saw Graceland. Um, it was a very interesting trip. And on, then on the way back, we stopped and saw my nephew at college, and then we shot home. So we're happy to be home in one piece. Not happy about how freaking cold it is here. Okay, so let's get to the stuff that I brought back. 
we found a little teeny weeny coconut that's dried out. On the very last day as we were leaving, it was raining, so I grabbed a bunch of sand. So it's kind of damp and wet and it was sitting in a plastic bag for a week, so I need to let it really air out and dry out. And maybe when it gets warmer here, I'll put it out in the sun for a while, let it bleach out back to the natural color that it was before I crammed it in the bag. Um, we found lots and lots of coral there, which was totally cool. I love the look of coral. Now here's my big find. Found this. It's been worn but it's all in one piece like no big chunks broken out or anything so I was super excited to find this. I've always dreamed of finding something like this when I was a kid and we would go to the beach. Never did. So I also found lots of shells and I want to show you some of the better ones that I found. I found this huge one which is cool. Um, I found some really cool colored ones but this is one of my coolest. It's this big huge snail shell. Look at that. How cool is that? And perfect. Nothing broken either. I don't know what I'll use it for but I love the way it looks. And I have a bunch of mother of pearl. So you know you're gonna see that in like some jewelry and stuff. So I have bunches of that. Now the really cool thing that I've never found before and I didn't really know um, some guy I worked with a long time ago told me about it and I never thought, you know, I thought, okay, whatever. Fossilized shark teeth. Found a ton of them. Check this out. Look at these. These are all the shark teeth. And there were tons more that we could find. But, I mean, look at the coloring on some of these. They're just beautiful. I've got some ambery colored ones. I've got some gray ones. i got a piece of a huge one. This one's a good size. I wouldn't want to meet up with those sharks. That's a cool one. A lot of these were found, I know you guys are going to ask, a lot of these found, were found on Little Gasparilla Island. And I was told, and I don't know if it's true or not, that you can find a ton over on Venice Beach down there. We did not go there to see if that was true or not, but some people said that you just dig in the sand down there and you can get bunches. But look at them. But I see other crafts in the future involving some of this stuff, too. So that was our vacation. We had some really crappy stuff and some really wonderful stuff. I'm back, but I'm ready to move south. Maybe one day that will come true. Thank you so much for watching. And if you have any ideas of crafts that I should do with some of the stuff that I found, or tell me your vacation nightmare in the comments below. I would, if you haven't subscribed yet, I would love it if you did. We'll definitely see you next time. Stay safe and happy crafting.